goodness, it seems like a lifetime ago when Brad Kozlowski took the checkered flag at Bristol Motor Speedway. It was May 31st, and now the track is getting ready to host another big race, the All-Star Race, on Wednesday, July 15th, right here on FS1. Of course, a busy, busy time for them, and we know where, we know when the All-Star Race is going to take place. We also know that fans are going to be in the stand, but what about the format? So joining us now for that answer is NASCAR's Executive Vice President, Steve O'Donnell. Hi there, Steve. So, so happy to have you on the show to clear these up, uh, this up for us. We know that there's been some rumblings about the All-Star format, so let's make it official. Tell us what the race is going to look like, my friend. Absolutely. First off, uh, you know, so excited to be at a short track at, at Bristol and I know the fans have asked for that for a long time and, and we'll start out uh, with the open um, that'll be running three segments where we've got uh, the first one 35 laps then another 35 and then 15 all of those winners uh, advance to the all-star race so certainly will be some beating and banging during the race and then uh, when we advance to the uh, the actual all-star race with a million dollars on the line you're looking at four different segments uh, 55 laps for the first one then we go to 35 another one at 35 and finally uh, the last last stage of just 15 laps so really setting ourselves up for an incredible uh, evening of racing and then the fans have all asked, uh, the drivers have asked, so they'll also see the cone rule in effect, also the choose rule um, that a lot of the drivers grew up on. So we'll have that in place and uh, trying to add a lot of different elements, see what we've got and uh, go racing for a million bucks. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Thank you from the drivers and for all the fans for having that cho uh, choose cone rule. So question, a two-part question, are you going to have a real actual cone on the racetrack? And if you do, what are the chances of having maybe Mike Helton, Jim France pulling that cone <laughs> off the racetrack? That, that would be pretty good, right? And that's what you see at the short track. So, David, the good news is we volunteered you. We've had an internal poll. So uh, we, we're going to uh, basically do that uh, electronically. We'll have a position on the track um, where we'll work with the drivers, either with one to go or coming or, or two to go, and, and uh, make sure that's within reason uh, where the drivers can, can uh, choose what position they want to start in. Uh, we're confident everybody can pull it off. The drivers grew up on this. That was one of our hesitations in the past, making sure that we could do this efficiently. So we'll see how it works in the all-star race, but uh, we're confident it's going to be fun. Well, awesome. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for making that happen. Yeah, Steve, sounds like an exciting event. And, and now that we know the format, I can't wait to get up there and, uh, and hopefully we can get our cars in the, in the big show. But yeah. if this choose rule and a cone rule, whatever it's going to be, is <laughs> as, as successful as I suspect it will be, how aggressive will you be to Im implement it as we go forward in some of the races coming up? Yeah, I think anyone will probably do is kind of hold it and, and look at it for 21. Um, we don't want to really inject too much into the remainder of the season. We're coming off on a, a key part of the season heading into the playoffs. But this is something that we have obviously had a lot of discussion with, uh, with the drivers about, you know, a lot of the stuff you see coming off pit road, especially on the short tracks with guys breaking uh, to get a certain position coming off pit road on a restart. If we can avoid that and do this in a smart way, uh, I think you could see this as, as part of the uh, – part of the racing season for 2021. So, you know, we'll discuss it with the, with the drivers and the teams uh, after this race, but uh, hopefully it all goes smooth. And I think you could see this going forward. Hey, Steve, before we let you go, bigger picture, we know that there are some states, states that we're planning on visiting on the NASCAR schedule that are having stricter restrictions in terms of letting people into their states. How is NASCAR adjusting to that? Yeah, great question, Shannon. So we're really close. Um, we expect early next week to announce the remainder uh, of our season schedule. There are one or two where there have been some restrictions put on kind of the general public traveling to a state. Uh, we believe we'll be in a good position with the governors of those states to work through that. Uh, we have in the past to be able to allow us to race. I think the work that the entire industry has done, you know, really starting out in, in Darlington and, and leading up to where we are today, abiding by all the protocols, has, has put us in a really good position with each state to showcase what we're all about and, and that we will abide by protocols and, and allow us to be able to race uh, and get that schedule out for the remainder of the year. All right, look forward to that announcement. And of course, looking forward to the all-star race. Thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. And David, we'll see you on the track with a cone. <laughs> All right, I'll bring my work gloves. I'll be ready. <laughs> Sounds good, bud.
July 12th on FS1. The NASCAR season heats up. Into the wall. Wow, that was wild. As the Cup Series continues live from Kentucky Speedway. <laughs> the Quaker State 400, July 12th on FS1. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.